Hello and welcome to our CAD clip on our Revit structural beam trick. Uh, really uh, nothing new and not, not using anything uh, that hasn't been around for a while, but it's a nice little lesson on um, customizing a beam family so that when you draw it in a floor plan, you can see the beam above dashed. Basically, that's it, like a header or whatever, a beam above. Uh, by default, out of the box, Revit does not show you beams above because they're not being cut, regardless of the discipline or, you know, unless you were to actually move the view range, the cut plane all the way up to just below the ceiling, uh, you know, what you don't want to do, that's no longer a floor plan. We want to see a floor plan. We want to see the beams above. So... By default, what happens is this. If we go and draw a structural beam, and I have two beams. I have one that's been modified and one that is um, the out-of-the-box. So I'll, saw, I'll draw a beam, and I'm going to use a glue lamb. I'm in a metric file, and I'm going to use the default glue lamb western species, this guy over here. So I'm going to draw that beam. I'm in this floor plan over here. So I want it to be on the underside of the floor. You see level 2? I'm on level 1. I want it the beam to be up here right below there and this is 255 millimeters which is about 10 inches thick so I want the beam to be at level 2 minus 255 millimeters so as I draw the beam while I'm in the level 1 I can set my reference level for the beam placement to be level 2 minus 10 inches 255 that's where I want the beam to go. So I go over here. These are load-bearing structural walls. And I hover over here and I grab a midpoint. And I drag across and I put in my beam. Okay. First of all, I get the warning. I'm going to hit escape, escape. I get the warning. I can exit out of there. It tells me I can't see what I've drawn in the floor plan. That's the whole problem. In my 3D view, I can shift middle mouse and you can see that. There's that beam. Okay right here it did go in here and you can see it in the section over here so our sections so I want to be able to see it in here so so that's kind of the challenge so here's the modified beam if I go in and say beam and I grab the one that we're gonna we're going to build uh, modify and I'm with my DG in front and I draw that uh, and I'll draw one right beside it and I go click click first of all there's no warning I can hit escape escape the beam goes in it's in the elevation, well, you'd have to move this, but it's in the elevation over here, and it's also in the section over here. So this is really what we want. We want it. Then I can say create similar, and I can array these or do whatever I want, but I can draw more beams as I please in my floor plans, wherever I want, okay, uh, with that beam type, and it's going to show up in, in everywhere and it's going to show up dashed so that's what we're going to build so the first thing we're going to do is to go find that original loaded out of the box family here I'm going to right click on it here and say um, edit family oops sorry up to the top edit family I could click on it here and say edit family basically I'm going to go into the out of the box beam edit the family so there it is, and by default, it's drawn fairly short. You know, it's just kind of a stubby little extrusion. Uh, let's go to the uh, right. We can see that it there. Let's go to the front view. Okay, so what we're actually going to do here, the trick is we're going to draw a model line that dangles down like a thread called drop line. And if that thread gets cut, then it's going to show some um, annotation dash lines and the beam itself is not really going to be shown so we're going to create a, a dangling cut um, cuttable drop line that will then turn on dash lines that are sitting in plan and then turn off the beam okay so um, I'm going to grab this reference plane first of all and kind of drag it down so you have to think of you know how deep your space is so you know your floors down here and your beams up there and you know we want to drop this line down and we're going to create a variable to control that so let's create a new reference plane let's go here and we'll draw a reference plane so we draw a reference plane down here somewhere then I'm going to do a dimension from the bottom of the beam to this reference plane and click and place it hit escape escape now I'm going to take this turn it into a parameter and I'm oops I'm going to call it drop line 
that's going to control the depth of whether I want it to show or not. If I raise that line above, it won't show up as dashed. If I pull it down, it'll suddenly show up in my floor plan. Drop line instant so I can do it on a beam by beam basis. Group it under dimensions and I'm done. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a model line. Now I want to draw on the reference plane just so you know I'm looking at the front there you can see this reference plane here is called center front back that's the work plane I want to draw on from that front view so I'm going to go create and I'm going to actually draw a model line and I want to check and see what work plane I'm on placement plane click on here and it says center front back it kind of defaulted to that because of the view Otherwise, you could go back to create and go set and set it. So we do want to be on this work plane. Good. Click out. Grab the center there and snap right to there. And then hit escape. We don't have to even align and lock because we're drawing right from intersection to intersection. Escape, escape. Now, let's try changing this. This is our model line. Okay. If we go to a 3D view. There's our beam. There's our line hanging down, which we're going to turn the visibility off. So back to our side view click on here let's try changing this value to be 1500 about five feet click out moves the reference plane and shortens my model line so let's set the default back to be about you know three meters about nine or ten feet and then click out now we want to turn the visibility of this off we never really want to see it so we're going to go into here, click on that model line, turn the visibility off. It'll kind of turn kind of dotted. Can't really see it. You could see it from a 3D view. Now, up to the floor plan. Go back to the floor plan of this beam. And I'm going to draw some annotation lines. Annotation, symbol lines. And I'm going to change my line type to be hidden lines, meaning dashed, and cut, meaning cut, uh, when it's being cut. So that's good because that drop line is going to get cut, even though it's not visible. So I'm going to draw hidden lines. I'm going to use the rectangle option, pick the corner of my beam in the floor plan, click on here, and I'm going to hit the locks. If you don't hit the locks, you can always go back and align and lock them later on. But they do have to be aligned and locked. Hit escape, escape. Now, again, my work plane is down in this particular case. If I go to create and I say set my work plane, I'm now at the reference level work plane. So it's kind of sitting in the middle of the beam floating, but they're symbolic no lines, not hidden lines. Now all I have to do is hover over here, grab that symbolic dash line, tab to select them all, click. So hover, tab, click. And then I'm going to go in the visibility and I want to make sure that they're on in coarse, medium and fine. And also show only if it's being cut. Again, going back to that drop line. Hit OK. Click out. Now I think that's just about it. Let's say load into project. Load into the project. Overwrite the old one. And click out. OK. And oh. We are seeing something in here. Okay, that's the original there. These are the ones that were in there beforehand. The difference is I missed out one step. Now what's happening is I'm not seeing the, the dashed lines. I'm actually seeing the beam itself. I don't want to see the beam. I want to see the dashed lines which represent the beam. So I'm going to pick on here. I'm going to go back and say Edit Family. And what I'm going to do is in... I'm going to hover, I'm going to tab, tab to grab the beam itself, or even easier, I can go to the 3D view, okay, grab the beam itself, and then when I go into the visibility here, I'm going to say, when cut in plan, I'm going to take this off, which means that it's not going to show um, when it's being cut, okay, so hit OK, or, or sorry, it's the the ability of being shown when cut is turned off if I can if that makes sense so that's all I did picked on here went back into the visibility and took this setting off okay hit okay load back into the project and now what's going to happen is I'm going to overwrite it and I'm going to see the dash lines and the beam itself is not showing because the option of show when cut is turned off so this is the the new modified beam. And if I go in here and say create similar, oh, let's tile our views here. View tile. Oh boy. Uh, we've got our 
beam in there as well. So let's go back to this um, beam and say save as. Let's just give it a new name. And that way we can at least close it. Okay, and now I'm going to retile my view. Okay, so back in my floor plan. Okay, let's get rid of all the beams. Let's go to this 3D view here. And let's click on there and grab all these beams. And hit delete. Okay, so there's no more beams in there. Shift middle mouse. Swivel around. Looking on the underside, right? So back to here. Here we go. Uh, structural beam. I don't need to save just asking me to save and then I can pick my new modified beam this was the original you can see the line is still showing on that one uh, click on here and off I go in a floor plan oh I should point out setting my offset Z to be minus 255 off of level 2 it's, it's remembering that from the last one so click on there I have my chain turned on so it added that diagonal one in there I can click on there and delete so that's pretty much it um, you can use that same technique to do all kinds of things basically to get stuff show up uh, dashed that's above you that normally doesn't draw the model line so it gets cut and also when we're in here um, you see this line this is that drop line so if I actually pull this up watch what happens the beam disappears because I'm grabbing that beam okay watch I'll grab this guy over here okay there it is there watch if I pick on it in here and I grab that drop line if I bring it above my cut plane in my view range it'll disappear from the view if I grab that drop line and pull it down it's also a property right here um, under graphics drop line so if I change this to be 1500 it's going to disappear from my floor plan if I change it to be three meters and drop it down. It's going to get cut, which means it's going to show in here. That's it for now.